Christmas at Baldscapes. Um, it's a lovely Sunday after Christmas. It's a beautiful sunny day. So I thought I'd come out and just do a little bit of work on the pool, finishing my uh, wetland filter, which I mentioned in the previous video. So I'm going to focus a little bit about what we did, or what, um, how it works, and some of the benefits that it can bring. So I'm just going to flip you around and show you what we've done and uh, how it fits into the pond as a whole. So this is the filter, um, or it's being used as a filter. This is not um, designed originally as a filter. This is an ornamented bowl which can be set up in ones, twos, threes, and as many as you like, it's purely as an ornamental display. What we've got this set up with here is to provide a little bit extra circulation as part of this ecosystem pond and to give us a bit of sculpture and variety. So we've got a good view of this from our, our living room. So if I give you the aspect, so if I sit in my uh, man seat, this is what I'm looking at and this is the perspective that I have from the each sofa inside the house. So how is it all hooked up and, and uh, how does this work? So we have the pump which is sitting down in there which I showed you in the previous video. That's the pump vault and there are two pumps in here. One is operating the waterfall, the bio tool, which is up there and that takes care of not only the circulation but a lot of the filtration. The second pump which is sits here, comes along a pipe which is hidden and then it goes underneath that bowl just about there and comes up through the bottom. So as well as giving some circulation, what I've been able to do is now set this up in such a way that it's not just circulation, this is going to add to the filtration and give us um, a modification or a version of an upflow wetland filter. So what can you see? Well, you can see a layer of fine gravel and a pipe at the top. What's the pipe for? And that pipe is just to give us access so that if we need to occasionally, we can put a pump or a uh, pipe down there and suck out the muck that's underneath so we don't need to take all this apart. So how have we built this? Well, at the bottom of the filter, where the water comes in at the bottom of this bowl, um, we put a bit of support and we're using a tray like this. So this is the um, tray here and as you can see it's full of void. So that just gives us support so that underneath we've got about six inches of void space to allow the water to circulate and some of the dirt to settle. And we then build up the layers of gravel or stone. So we're using large rocks first as a layer and then we come in with a second layer of medium size and then a finer layer on the top, such as there, um, which is what you can see. And that is what we plant the plants into. So essentially the way this works is the water will come in from the bottom, it circulates around the bottom where some of the finer sediments will settle and then it slowly percolates up through these different layers of gravel, and there you can see some of the stones that we've used as I've just set this up. So we've got the larger stones and smaller stones here, um, and then hopefully this is clear to you uh, how we're doing and how we're lowering this. So inside here we're looking for about four inches minimum layer. Um, if we're doing a big, fully constructed wetland, obviously this would be a lot more in depth. This is a mini version of it. Uh, and uh, as a standalone filter, um, this is not going to work as well as a fully constructed one. This isn't something you'd use for a koi pond, for example. However, if you're going to have an additional um, aesthetic piece, you might as well make some use of it. And that's essentially what we've done. So periodically, um, what will happen is next year, I don't know whether you can see clearly, but there we've got some plants in. There are some here there's some irises and there's various other plants that are planted down that are dormant there's another one that are going to come up and grow during the spring and then their roots will percolate through that gravel and just pull out all the nutrients that the um, filter, filter is going to produce so and that's how the filter works 
I hope that's of use. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on the Facebook page, the YouTube and everything else so that you're going to get regular updates. Thanks.